What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach with Android Digest and today I want to give you my thoughts on the Galaxy Tab S8 and the S8 Plus and the S8 Ultra and I want to give you my thoughts on if you should pre-order those devices because we just had that Galaxy Unpacked event right and it shared a lot of details about those devices and now those devices are actually available for pre-orders so if you do check the links in the description I do have links to Samsung's website and to Best Buy as well so feel free to check those out of course they do support my channel but in reality I just want to help you make a good decision. I want to help you think through the implications of these devices and what they are and if they are worth considering especially for a normal consumer. So with all that being said let's get straight into my thoughts about these devices and yeah let's get it going. So the Tab S8 and the S8 Plus, you need to know, those devices are almost identical to last year's models. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't pre-order those devices, right? Because there are incredible deals on those devices that I'm going to get into, right? But if you look at the Tab S8, and you look at the Tab S7, okay? There's not a lot of differences between those two devices. So the Tab S7, it's gonna have about the same resolution and a lot of the specs are going to be nearly identical, okay? 120 Hertz, you're gonna get a non-AMOLED display. The fingerprint sensor on the Tab S8, it is of course the same as the Tab S7. And as far as cases go, the Tab S8, well, again, it can fit all the same cases from the Tab S7. So you have a lot of things that are identical with those devices. And the same thing with the Tab S8 Plus and the Tab S7 Plus. Again, you have identical specs as far as things like the battery and the resolution and the 120 hertz and all those different things, right? They're gonna be identical. And if you look at the keyboard cases, okay, this is a very important thing that you need to know. The keyboard cases will also work. The same keyboard case from the Tab S7 works on the Tab S8. And the same keyboard case from the Tab S7 Plus will work on the Tab S8 Plus. However, one important thing you need to know is that the keyboard case that Samsung is giving away for free, so if you're watching this video and the pre-order dates are still up, as long as these devices have not released, at least as of now, they are giving away free keyboard cases if you pre-order these devices. But the keyboard cases they are giving away, so they are the slim keyboard cases, and they do not have a trackpad, and they do not cover up your S Pen. And those two things might be a very big deal to you, so instead it covers up the S Pen on the inside but not on the outside. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind with what they give you for free. But nonetheless, even though we have all those things the same, there are two things that are really exciting about the Tab S8 and the Tab S8 Plus. And when we look at it, we first have to know that these devices will come with four years of software updates. That is better than Google Pixel phones, at least as of now. Four years of big operating system updates, not just security patches, bravo Samsung. And not only that, they are actually spreading that four years of updates to the S21 and the Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3 and a lot of older devices like that. However, you will still only get three years of updates on the Tab S7, at least from what I've heard. That is one big reason to upgrade to the Tab S8 or the the S8 Plus or the S8 Ultra. But another thing that you really need to consider is also the processor. Now, the processor as far as speed goes, it's gonna be pretty similar to the Snapdragon that we saw last year. It's not gonna be a huge bump up, okay? But you are gonna get a decent bump up in performance, but you're also going to get better GPU performance. And if you don't know what that is, you just need to know that the graphics are gonna be better. So things like games and other things like that that use heavy graphics, those things are going to perform better on this device. Now those are the two big upgrades, right? But I still think you should consider pre-ordering either of these. And it's really the reasons that I talked about in my previous video where I was speculating about a lot of this stuff because sure enough, Samsung came through with some epic trade-in deals, okay? So they are giving $500 if you trade in the Galaxy Tab S7 FE. They are giving $550 if you trade in the Tab S7 and they are giving $600 if you trade in the Tab S7 Plus. Again, and that's as of making this video. I'm sure those things can eventually change. But those things are incredible and here's why. Let's say you don't have a Tab S7 or you don't have a Tab S7 FE. I just bought one on eBay for $350 and then I'm gonna go trade it in for $500. You can do that too, by the way. If you go on eBay, find one in good condition, find one that you make sure it doesn't have any cracks or anything, make sure the seller is reputable, make sure to test it out, 
But if you do that, that is a great way to save money, even if you don't have those devices. Now, another thing that's really awesome is they are giving great educational discounts. So if you do use the educational discount, they will give you over $100 off. I think it's like $120. It does depend on what model you get and everything like that. But they are giving an excellent amount of money off those tablets. So those are two really awesome ways you could save money on the Tab S8 and the S8 Plus and even the S8 Ultra, right? So when you factor in all those trade-ins, I would say these are incredible devices to consider buying. Another very important thing, again, they are giving a free keyboard case with the device. So let's say you don't want the keyboard case. You could flip it on eBay for 50 bucks or 100 bucks, and then you take that off of the price. Maybe you flip it on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. But after all of that, you're going to come out way ahead, especially if you take advantage of the trade-in, you take advantage of that keyboard case, or maybe you decide to use the keyboard case for yourself. Now, for me personally, I already have the Tab S7. I'm just gonna use my keyboard case from the Tab S7, use it on the Tab S8. But either way, I'd say there's not a lot of differences, but the differences that are there are good. And if you could trade in a device that's one year old or you could just buy one on eBay, you can get a heck of a deal on these Samsung tablets. Now there is one other thing I forgot to mention, I guess, that is the S Pen latency. It's a little bit lower on the Tab S8 Plus. So that's another thing to consider. It's not lower on the Tab S8, only the Tab S8 Plus or the S8 Ultra. So if we switch over to the S8 Ultra, you might be wondering, should I jump up and go to the behemoth of tablets? Should I spend $1,000 on an Android tablet? And honestly, if I'm giving my truthful advice, again, I make money on affiliate links. If you click my links, that does help support my channel. But I gotta keep it real and say most of you should not get the S8 Ultra, and let me tell you why. So the Tab S8 Ultra, okay, it starts out at $1,099. Now let's think about what you can get for over $1,000. You can get a Dell XPS laptop. You can get some of the best laptops out there. You can get not only the base model of a Surface laptop, you could get an incredible Surface laptop. You could get the Surface Pro 7 Plus that comes with the keyboard case for like 800 bucks. It's almost always on sale at Best Buy for that. So you could get a full Windows device that has all access to all Windows programs. That's an excellent tablet with a great screen, with a fingerprint reader and the works. You could get an iPad Pro, of course, and all these other devices. So when you think of an Android tablet, why in the world would you spend that much money on an Android tablet when you could get some of the best laptops that are out there that have 360 hinges, you could get some of the best devices out. So why get an Android tablet for that money? I think a lot of you, I think the majority of you should not get an Android tablet for over a thousand dollars, mainly because it's just not a good value. But on the other end, there are some people out there, some techies who just hate Android, and they're gonna tell you that no one should get the S8 Ultra because it's such a stupid purchase. And I think that's also really dumb as well. So the Tab S8 Ultra, it is a huge device. 14.6 inches. So the only real difference I'm seeing in this and the Tab S8 Plus is really just an extra camera and you have a little notch there too, but you do have an extra camera and that extra camera helps with different things like face tracking. I know it can move the camera around if you have multiple people in the shot to focus on that other person. So outside of that, I don't see a lot of big improvements over the Tab S8 Ultra compared to the Tab S8 Plus. So mainly you're just paying for screen size and that's it's not something to laugh at or really to downplay. If you look at something like the keyboard case, the keyboard case has backlighting, for example. The keyboard case that they are going to give you for free if you pre-order this, they're gonna give you the full-on keyboard case that has a trackpad, that has a backlit keyboard. So all of those things are pretty awesome to see in the Tab S8 Ultra. So they're giving you a lot for your money if you pre-order it, of course, because then you get over a $300 keyboard case for free. But who should even consider are spending that much money on a huge tablet like that. Well, there's a lot of you who love art and you love drawing. You're using the S Pen all the time. And the bigger the canvas you get, the better. If that is you, then yes, I absolutely think you should consider this device. So if you're someone who doesn't need anything Windows based, you're someone who wants an incredible tablet and you want it to be a very large size over 14 inches and you do a lot of digital art, well, you are the type of person that 
this device was made for. A 14.6 inch screen is amazing for watching content. It's gonna be great if you just need a huge screen to scroll the news and do stuff like that. So there are a lot of reasons that you should consider the S8 Ultra. If you consider the S8 Ultra, one thing you need to know is that it's a huge screen and that means that there are some Android apps. There are a lot of Android apps in fact that are not optimized for tablets. So what they do is they take a phone app and then they blow it up. Now there's a little bit of a problem there because if you decide to blow up an app and you decide to make it bigger on something like the Tab S8, you're not really gonna notice a big difference. But when you go up to the S8 Plus, it's a little more noticeable when you're stretching everything out on a bigger screen. And of course, if you go up to a 14.6 inch screen, everything's gonna be very, very stretched out and it won't look quite as good. Now the good news is Android 12 S is a new operating system that they are working on. Google is working on it. It will come to this tablet and that will help out with some of these things, right? They are working on their operating system to make things look better for tablets, but that's not here right now. So a lot of apps aren't going to be really good on a huge tablet like this. And when we consider other stuff, LumaFusion, for example, that's a video editing app and good news, it is coming to Android, but that's gonna come to the Tab S7. That's gonna come to Chrome books even, right? So it's not a huge update just for Galaxy tablets. It's also a video editor that's going to come to all different types of devices. So when we consider if it's worth it for the S8 Ultra, what are you getting? You're getting a bigger device with an extra camera. And outside of that, I know it has a bigger battery, but you're powering a bigger screen at that point, right? So what are you really getting? I just don't see a lot of value in it. And I think it's honestly gonna be a little bit too big for a tablet. And if you're wanting a laptop replacement, I don't think an Android tablet's gonna be the best thing for that for most people. But some of you, again, if you do a lot of art, if you do tablet work first and you only do some minor stuff, you don't need Windows programs, but you do love productivity, yes, the Tab S8 Ultra will be great for you. So I'm trying to play the middle here and say that some of you should really go after that Tab S8 Ultra, especially since you get that keyboard cover for free with that backlighting and it's a huge screen, which some of you are gonna adore. And again, all the extra bonuses that come with it, all the extra trade-in deals I mentioned, let's say you don't have a Tab S7 FE you don't have a Tab S7 or you don't have a Tab S7 Plus, just look on eBay and trade those devices in to Samsung. And again, as long as you buy one in good condition, you are going to be set. So don't be afraid to buy it, even though you don't have the device from eBay in the mail yet, because it's gonna take some time, right, to get that pre-order in the mail, so you'll have plenty of time to get your order from eBay in, right? So don't be afraid to order that, select your option for your trade-in, and again, just buy it on eBay that day, and you'll take some time to get it in. So when we look at all of these devices, are they worth it? I think all of them are actually worth it, at least as of today. And the reason is these excellent options for pre-ordering. So we have the $50 in extra credit if you did select to reserve these devices. You also have the incredible deal out there for trade-ins, you have the incredible student deals as well. If you factor all of those deals in, even if only one of those deals applies to you, I think these devices are so worth pre-ordering. And even if you have a Tab S7, I think it's worth upgrading just because of the excellent deals. But when we get out of that season, when we get out of the excellent deal season, when they're not giving away free keyboard cases, when they're not giving you crazy trade-in deals with hundreds of dollars off, if you're looking at the retail price, and you're just stuck and you're saying, should I buy it? And you're not getting a good trade-in. If you have the Tab S7, it's not that different from the Tab S8, right? So if you're in that position and there's not a lot of good deals out there, I would just say you should stick with the Tab S7. A lot of the same software features that will come to this Tab S8 will trickle down, right? So the only real big difference I think you need to consider between the Tab S8 and the Tab S8 Plus is of course the screen size and the latency of the S Pen is a little bit lower on the Tab S8 Plus. The S8 Plus also has AMOLED, while the S8 does not. But realistically, I think if you're looking for a good value, if you just want the fastest tablet that's gonna get four years of updates, I think the S8 
8 is going to be a great option because the fingerprint reader, I really, really, really do prefer a physical fingerprint reader. It's going to be in the power button on the Tab S8. The Tab S8 is also going to be lighter. It's going to be easier to carry around. The keyboard case will be a little bit more crammed, so that is one negative with getting a smaller device like that. But realistically, I think the Tab S8 is probably the best value, but I think it's right there. The Tab S8 and the Tab S8 Plus are the best values because you get the AMOLED if you get the Tab S8 Plus, you get the lower S Pen latency, you're just not getting a 14 inch screen, right? So I think it's the perfect compromise. I think you'll save a couple hundred bucks. I think you'll also get all of those great deals, but you will still get a huge, large AMOLED, beautiful, gorgeous screen. So the Tab S8 Plus might be the one for most people or the Tab S8, I think they're neck and neck. And of course the Tab S8 Ultra, is the best of the best by far. I just think it's more for a little niche of people who can afford it and who also want a larger tablet like that. So are you that person? Do you want a larger tablet like that? Or would you rather have something a little bit smaller? Leave a comment down below. And one way you could support my channel, if you are considering pre-ordering, please use those links in the description. As you could tell in this video, I was very forthright and honest about what I thought about now and even after on what you should buy and how you should buy. I also gave you some excellent tips. So hopefully that does help you out and hopefully you are willing to sub to my channel and give this video a like. And also don't be afraid to go to my Twitter as well because I have a lot of great deals. I share a lot of stuff on there at twitter.com slash digest android. And if you get any extra time, feel free to check out some extra videos. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for all of your support. And thanks for helping me hit 10,000 subscribers, by the way. Very awesome.